What's up guys, this is iTweaks here, and today I'm going to be showing you a brand new iOS 7 jailbreak tweak called Cloaky. And Cloaky is going to allow you to get rid of unnecessary clutter on your iDevice. And by that, let me show you exactly what I mean. So if we jump into the settings here and jump into Cloaky, you have these four sections here. You have activity, you have control center, menu, and status bar. So if we tap on activity just to start out with, you obviously have a kill switch. You can also disable this in a particular application if you want to do that. So here are the activities, or here are the toggles under activity. You have Twitter, Facebook, Weibo, uh, message, mail, print, all that good stuff. Now. If we jump into Safari here and we tap on the share panel, you can see I have messages, mail, Twitter, and Facebook. But let's just say that I don't have Facebook or Twitter, so I'm not ever going to use those toggles. So what I'm going to do is jump over here and we're going to disable them. Now this doesn't require any type of respring or anything like that. You can see if I jump right back over to Safari, there are no more Twitter and no more Facebook. So it's actually pretty cool. This is going to get rid of everything that you don't necessarily use. So let's jump back into the settings here and you can scroll down. You also have this for the photo. So you have iCloud photo stream, you have AirPlay slideshow, YouTube for iTunes, you have gifts. So far you have bookmark and home screen. So if I just wanted to disable the bookmark, you can see that there's no longer bookmark right over there. So actually pretty helpful and very nice for getting rid of things that you don't actually use. So let's jump back here into the control center, and this is really nice. I mean, if you don't have any tweaks that are uh, tweaking your control center, you'll see that at this point, control center is still cool, but it doesn't look near as cool as when it's modified. So let's go ahead and swipe that down. And the first thing we want to get rid of are these separators. So if we look at that, there's separators all in there. Let's toggle those off. Now it looks that much better. Another thing to get rid of for me is the media controls because I never use those uh, in the control center. So now it's a whole lot shorter and a lot cleaner. You can also get rid of the settings, you can get rid of the brightness, you can get rid of the air stuff and the quick launch so there's not going to be anything right there. But if we swipe that back down, you can even just leave the quick launch on. Basically any section that you want on, then you'll just leave it like that. This is how I'll have it. Looks pretty nice to me. Okay, so if we jump back here again, we go into menu. Now the menu portion is when you're typing and you're trying to select different portion of text or you're just uh, highlighting or pasting or anything like that. So you can see here if we wanted to turn off cut and copy, let's go to, let's go here and then go into my uh, notepad here. And let's just type, hi there. You can see I have select, select all, paste. So if I select all and you see paste and define. So my cut and copy are gone, but I use cut and copy all the time. So I don't really want to do that. So you can see if we jump back in here, I'll toggle these back on and jump back. And we will see the copy, select all. So we copy. And then if we wanted to paste, just like that. So you can get rid of the actions on your menus as well if you'd like to do that. You have paste, delete, replace, define, learn, speaks, pause, textile options, insert image, and writing down. So this section I'll probably be using the least amount. I pretty much like all my menu options in there. But let's go ahead and jump back here and jump into status bar. Now this is probably my favorite portion of this tweak because it allows you to customize your status bar like crazy. So you can see up here in the top in the middle it just has the time as well as PM. So if we toggle this on you'll see that it automatically changed and I'll get a little closer for you guys to see that it changed to the date as well as the time and it gives you the seconds. So you can see right down here, let me focus in, right here you can see the month date, the hour, minutes, and seconds. So if you also wanted the day, then you could type E and it'll give you the day right there. It'll say Tuesday. You can also change this to E E E and go back and it'll say the entire word Tuesday as well as one more E will just give you a T for Tuesday. Now there's a ton of different stuff that you can actually add to this. And everything that you wanna add is going to be in this format document right here. So all you have to do is look up what you wanna add and then type it in to this little bar right here. So let's just say we wanted to add free memory. So we're gonna go back here, we're gonna get rid of this. And you can add as many as you want. It does start to uh, disappear over there, so keep that in mind. But let's just add 
free memory and we'll go back and then you can see the free memory up there in the middle of the status bar so let's go back here and let's add one more let's say we want to add the year now the year is actually uh, messed up in this so don't follow this right here if you type just a y then it's going to give you 2014 if you type yy then it's just going to give you the 14 so you'll see that as I type right here I'll just put a y and it's going to give you the entire year up there alright so let's jump back into the status bar swipe down now this is where you can actually toggle stuff off that you don't want up there so it's gonna get rid of that clutter so let's just say we don't want the time there it's automatically gone I want do not disturb turned off as well as airplane mode which I don't really have on right now you can get rid of the signal strength but I don't want to do that because then what would my pac-man eat up there you can also get rid of the service and the service is actually if you have Zeppelin uh, installed then it's gonna get rid of your little avatar right up there or logo uh, if you have just AT&T up there, then I would recommend just getting rid of that because who wants to read that every time you're on your phone? You also have data network. You can get rid of that. You can get rid of the battery right there. You can get rid of the battery percent. And you can get rid of, I mean, there's a ton of stuff right here. The alarm plus location, location lock, uh, airplay, call it forward, all that good stuff. And also down here you have volt on battery, which actually didn't work for me every time I resprung it didn't do anything really even turning on the battery which you obviously have to do in order to uh, activate this for it to work but it just didn't work but nevertheless this is a great tweak allowing you to get rid of all that clutter especially the unnecessary clutter that you have on your device so let me know what you guys think about this tweak in the comments below and if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button if you want to see more of my videos then go ahead and subscribe also, don't forget to like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter for updates. And if you haven't checked out my gaming channel, go over there and stop by and say hey. Alright guys, until next time, peace.